In this video, we will look at the while loop. And instead of using simple examples that are just counting from uh, 1 to 10 or 10 down to 1 or something simple like that, we're going to use the loop. To do a real application here, we're going to create a table of body mass index values. So at the top of this program and the uh, program that you see here, uh, this is one of the shell programs. And it contains stuff that we've seen already. And we're just going to add to this by putting a while loop inside to create a table of body mass index values. Up at the top and in comments, we have the formula for the body mass index, which is just your weight in pounds divided by your height in inches squared times 703. And we have at the top um, a pound include, but it looks like we're missing one of those. Pound include is just standard I.O. So let's use a standard library. So let's do a pound. Include standard live, which is stdlib.h. Okay, so let's add that one in. And let's also add in the math library. We might need it as well. So pound include math.h. Those should have been there, but they weren't. Okay, we're going to use some variables. So the first part of our program, we declare the variables. And we're going to need body mass index calculations. So we'll have an integer for the feet and inches input. We'll also have integers for the height, which we'll have to compute from feet and inches, the weight and the ending weight. And body mass index is usually a real number, so it's going to be a type float. To begin our program, we're going to prompt the user to enter their height in feet and inches. So you see the, uh, the printf statement is already there, asking you to input your height in feet and inches, and that's on the same line. And the scanf statement with the percent %d field specifier for those two values is shown here. So this will input the two values and uh, we'll have those in our program. Now before we can go in, into our label, um, label into our table, uh, we need to do some intermediate calculations. Uh, the first one is to calculate the height. We have feet and inches, but we need the height in inches. So let's just add our equation for that. Height is equal to feet times 12 plus the inches. So that will give us the height in inches. All right, so then uh, the other thing we need to do is we need to have a variable that we can start with our beginning weight, and it will go up gradually by some increment until we get to the ending weight. So that variable is declared up here. So I'm just going to call that weight, and the ending weight is going to be whatever the final weight is that we want. So let's give these things some values. So let's start with a, um, a weight of 100 pounds as our low end for our table. And for the ending weight, let's just go up to 200 pounds. So that will be the ending weight. Also, we would like to have a header for our table. So let's print that out. And this is just a uh, column header to go at the top. So our table is going to have two columns. So the column on the left is going to be the weight. And then the column on the right will be the body mass index. So Let's uh, dress this output up a little. Dress the output up a little bit. So print F. Okay, let's do a double quote. Let's put a BMI table in uppercase letters. Okay, backslash N double quote right print semicolon. Okay, and then uh, let's go ahead and put our um, column headers in. So let's do print F. A little double quote. So the weight will be on the left, and let's put a couple of tabs in backslash T backslash T. And then the body mass index will be the column on the right. And let's do a backslash in, double quote, right, print, semicolon. OK, so that takes care of the, if the uh, data that will be printed to the screen outside the loop. All right, so here's the new stuff. OK, so we have the comment, generate a table, and we're going to vary the weight. OK, so the while loop, we are just going to use while. And weight will be the loop control variable which is the thing that will change as we go through the loop. So the, the preliminary weight is set to 100. So as long as the weight is less than or equal to 200, we want to continue inside the loop generating rows for our table. Okay, so this is the test that we will put at the top of the loop. Okay, weight starts at 100, and we will stay in the loop until the weight reaches 200, or actually it exceeds it by an uh, increment. When it's equal to 200, we'll go through the loop for the last time. All right, inside the loop, we need to calculate body mass index. So that is the variable BMI. And using our formula, that's equal to the weight 
divided by, and here we have the height squared, so you could use height times height, or we could use a function that we've learned how to use called the power function. Pow is power, and then inside parentheses we give two numbers, or two things. Height is the variable, and the power that we're raising it to is squared, or two. Okay, so pow height comma two is the same thing as height squared. Now, we'll multiply this entire thing by 703, and that will give us a calculation for body mass index. Then, um, we need to print the values out as the first row of our table, so we need to print F. And in here, we don't need any extra information. We just need the numbers. All right, so the weight is an integer, so let's do percent uh, for, I forgot the percent, okay, percent 4D. Okay, because the weight is a three-digit number, and that will give us a space. Then let's put in a couple of tabs, backslash T, backslash T. Then let's put the body mass index. That's a floating point number, so let's use a percent of 5.2F. Then backslash N, double quote, comma, and the variables we're printing are weight, comma, body mass index, or BMI, right print, semicolon. Okay, so we're almost through with this loop. We've calculated body mass index, we've printed out the weight, beginning weight was 100, the equivalent BMI is going to be printed here. The other thing we have to do before we leave the loop is we have to add an increment to the value weight. So we're finished with 100, okay, so let's increment the weight by adding 10. So weight equals weight plus 10. We'll add 10 to our value, so the next pass through the loop weight will be 110, and we'll calculate the body mass index, print out the two values, add 10 to make that 120, and this will continue until weight reaches 200. Okay, when weight reaches 200, this is still true, so we'll calculate the body mass index for a weight of 200, we'll print that out, adding 10 makes the weight go to 210. When that happens, this will be false. When weight reaches 210, then 210 is not less than or equal to 200, so the loop will exit, and then we will terminate the program. Now, let's run this and see what kind of output we get. Click the green triangle, and we'll see the output. Okay, so now we have the output window. Enter your height in feet and inches, so let's use 5 feet and 8. Then here we have the output showing the title, BMI table, the weight on the left-hand column, and the body mass index on the right-hand column. And as it turns out, the headings, weight, and BMI are sort of centered above the columns of numbers, and so that looks just fine. All right, so this is, let's scroll down to the while loop so we can put them both on the screen. All right, so here's the while loop, and then here's the output produced by the while loop. So you can see that the beginning weight is 100. Equivalent BMI is 15.2. Each time we go through the loop, we add 10 pounds. So we calculate a value for 110, which is 16.7, and we add 10 to get 120, and so on. The final value is 200, and the equivalent body mass index for that weight is 30.41. Alright, so that illustrates how to use the while loop to generate a table of body mass index values.